I'm a little nervous to try this because I don't want to be drinking straight bleach. Let's give it a try. Hello Snack Pack, welcome back to Travel Snacks. Today's episode is all about clean, fresh water. Don't you just want clean and fresh water all the time? I do. So in today's video, I think about my 18 gallon fresh water tank and I wonder if it's getting grimy. So I do a little research and find out that the way to do it is by adding bleach. That seems like a bad idea, but you know, I'm all about bad ideas. So let's get right into it. So I've been on the road for roughly nine months in my van and I've had my fresh water tank filled at various points throughout my journey. Usually if I fill my tank, which is an 18 gallon fresh water tank, I can get six weeks out of it. But I recently came to the desert to visit my family and I decided that I should probably clean out my water tank and refill it while I'm here. The only thing is I didn't know how. <laughs> so I Googled it and when I read about this, I was like, that doesn't seem right, that doesn't seem healthy. But a lot of people that have freshwater tanks and RVs, other vans and things like that have used this method, so I'm gonna give it a try. So basically what you're gonna use is bleach. And that sounds pretty frightening until I realized that I think all the cities put a little bit of bleach or chlorine in all the drinking water. I'm not a scientist and I don't know all the science behind it, so go Google that and research that on your own. I'm gonna show you how much bleach to put in. So here comes the birds. This isn't mathematical at all, but this is the way I'm gonna do it. Oh, am I gonna do this? Whoa, this is probably not the best idea. 17, get off there. Oh. That was chaotic. So that's 17 inches, it equals 18 gallons. Half of 17 is eight and a half, which is nine gallons. And half of eight and a half, half of eight and a half is four and a quarter, four and a half gallons. Why am I saying all this? Oh, I'm gonna measure four and a quarter, and that's how high I'm gonna fill the water tank. I'm gonna need a piece of tape for that. That'll, I don't know what I'm saying. More, okay, I gotta get a piece of tape. Not simple. Ooh, and a quarter. Of course I can't see it because this pipe is in the way. So I need to fill it to right there. Right now it's, the water is just kind of below that. Currently is here. I just need to fill up to here. Okay, before you start working with some bleach, wear a shirt or shorts or pants that you might not care about that much because if you spill even a drop of this on your clothes, forget it. Also you need bleach that's between six and eight percent whatever's. So this one is 7.5 percent sodium hypochlorite blah 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 and you don't want to use anything that's added fragrances. Use eight drops per gallon of water. So I'm gonna do four and a half gallons roughly and I even asked my parents Alexa come to find out there's 99 drops in a teaspoon so you don't want to use that much. You're gonna think oh I'm just gonna use a teaspoon. No. Don't do that. Whoa, what in the bleach are you doing not being part of the snack pack? All you gotta do is hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Throw a like on this video and keep watching until the end to see if I have to go to the hospital after drinking bleach. Oh, okay, this isn't going so well. Ah, I'm not good at this. Got it on my foot, my shoes. That looks like nothing. funnel in here that doesn't look probably not the best thing to use but that's what I got that don't look like it's gonna I guess it's working gotta go real slow though because otherwise it's gonna come out the bottom like that ay, ay, ay. it's probably a better way to do this I don't know how much bleach actually went in there. I'm gonna use my hose to hook it up because this is for drinking water. Okay, I'm a little concerned because usually when you're looking for potable or potable water, spigot things should be green or blue. But my parents is 
red. I gotta go ask my dad, I'll be right back. He said that's fine. It's the water that's going to the house. That's the water they drink from, like tap water. So I can go ahead and proceed. Okay, so I got this hose, this drinking water hose, and I got the little city connector thing on Amazon. And then this thing has been a lifesaver. This is just like a little extra attachment so you can put it in the thing so it goes down, which I'll show you right now. Okay, that's my 25 feet, so I need to pull the van up. Still not far enough. Dang, it's it's fine. So well, this thing goes into the thing so that it bends down and it goes straight in there. Otherwise, with the hose, it just goes like right to the edge and then it falls out. And also, this thing's cool because you can turn the water on and off from here. I don't know if it's on or off. Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, stay. <laughs> Oh, it was on, it's on, it's on. Let's fill it up. And now I only wanted to fill it up to four and a quarter. So I'm gonna turn this off, let this rest for a second. And let's go see where it is. Stay, stay. Bro, you know what, you're being dumb. I don't appreciate this. Forget it. Ooh, all right, it's, just a tad bit over where we wanted it which is fine so now what i'm gonna do drive up and down the street let it slosh around <laughs> i really don't even know if i got enough bleach in there why is it gotta be the most brightest part of the day now you might be thinking okay that's cool and all you have a house to go to to get this water and do all this stuff and yes that is a nice thing that i can do because sometimes i come and visit my parents you can do that too if you have family friends or just people you've met along the way another option is to sign up for boondockers welcome not sponsored but i think i'm going to sign up for them on my next little journey you can also go to a gas station that's not busy if they have a spigot on the side and you can also go to a campground. Like if you just wanna go for a night and just get a shower, or have a nice bathroom or whatever, or you can go up to a campground and just ask them if, if there's a lower price for just using water. I don't know, some campgrounds might do that. I haven't tried yet, but I think I'm going to. Everyone says, oh, it's so easy to find potable water. Bro, it, is, it hasn't been easy for me. A lot of gas stations don't have the spigots available and they don't have the thing where it's like air and water. In California, they have that a lot, in a lot of places, they're at least used to. And a lot of other states that I've been to, they don't have that. It's, it's not as easy as people have said, in my opinion. I haven't been doing van life maybe as long, but so I'm gonna go up this steep hill so my water can kind of slush around. Whoa, I'm gonna tap the brake kind of. I don't know if that did anything. That was probably just like kind of a dumb idea. <laughs> oh, the things that go through my mind don't always work out. My water tank, I don't think it's ever gonna get 100% empty because the tube that goes into it, once the water goes past that tube, there's still like this much water. I don't know if the water will ever like vacuum suck if it's not equal with the tube. Am I making any sense? You know, like if you got just a cup of water in your house and you just set it down and left it for six to nine months, you would see some of those little like floaties or like little residue. And that's kind of gross, so I don't want my water tank to be doing that. My van is a mess. Okay, so my pump down. Oh, got too much stuff right here. So now I'm just gonna let the water run. This other switch is for the gray water tank. And now it's opening under the van and it's gonna drain the water. So let's go out and look. I haven't put anything red in my sink. I only use toothpaste and wash my dishes and I strain all the things. But maybe that gray water tank is just dirty and gross. So I'm just gonna let that run. And then you don't want your pump to be running when there's no water. You don't want a dry pump. <laughs> oh boy. It's starting to sputter. So I don't think it's gonna get that last little bit. Okay, I'm gonna turn this pump off. The tank under my van is 10 gallons. Should be emptied pretty soon. Another thing to note is that I know not everybody has this, but I, whoa, 
that scared me the door closed not everybody has this but i do have an inline filter we put in when we installed all this stuff but it's that white thing so the red thing is the pump and that white thing is the inline filter so the water comes in through the pump passes through the filter so it's supposed to be cleaning out some junk and sediment and whatever and then it goes through my sink so it should be safe to drink okay so it's just a little trickle okay so just as an update i just before i got in my van to go back to the driveway i just checked the water level so you could see that it stops right there under the tube okay so now i'm gonna fill it all the way up with the 18 gallons and this time i'm not gonna fool with that measuring cup and the funnel so i'm just gonna use another fourth teaspoon and i'm just gonna drizzle it in here and then i'll push all my water through hold it away from me oh. okay still not good at it i should have done this closer oh okay with this thing you should be able to let your hands go and it just fills for you. If the water starts spurting back out at you like it's doing now, that means, hold please, that means that your air release tube or whatever this little tiny hole is blocked with water on the inside. So the tube was full and now it's water's coming out so it has circulation or whatever. Let's check the water level. My feet are all wet. As the water spurted out. This is what I'm talking about, that tube. This little thin tube needs to stay unclogged. It's okay if it sloshes around like that, but it needs to allow air to go through and pass through. And then the water goes through that big tube into there. So right now, oh, it's fast. It's already up here. So I'm gonna wanna stop the water right below that tube. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Now. And now I have a full water tank that should last me about six weeks. And there's a little bit of bleach. Hopefully the bleach came down this tube and flushed into the tank. And hopefully my tank is nice and clean now. The final thing I'm gonna do is run my pump for just a couple minutes so that it flows through the pump again because I feel a little nervous that I let it run so long. Turn the pump back on. So usually that sound is not gonna continue but it's dry, so I'm gonna run the water. Voila! And now when I turn the water off, the pump should not be making that generating noise. It worked! All right, so now I'm good to go. Now I just need to clean my van. Okay, so after all that, I went in the house and my dad was like, how'd it go? And I was like, great thing. He goes, and how did it taste? And I was like, oh, duh, I didn't even taste it. And he's like, that was the whole point to see if you would be able to taste the bleach in the water. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this glass and just give it a try to see if I could taste the bleach. All right, so I'm a little nervous to try this because I don't want to be drinking straight bleach, but I put such a small amount, I don't think I'm gonna taste it, but you never know. And I don't want bleach coursing through my innards, but maybe it'll kill some bacteria or something. Let's give it a try. Oh no, I don't taste any bleach at all. Actually, that's a really good tasting water. Just tastes like water. I like it. I give it a thumbs up for this method. I only used that little bit of bleach and so hopefully it's purifying it and it gives me great tasting water. Awesome. <laughs> Filled at various, and I've had my water tank, but, but I came frightening and, but that, it's gonna be four, it's okay, okay. Okay, so now I'm wait. fill up. I'm gonna and I've driven around a little bit, so the water splot been purify it, and it's a little my 18 gallon and keep watching till the end. Just. Snack time. Snack time.
Let's try.